her belly is rubbing along the floor. Her appetite knows no bounds. It's got to stop because she's only young. She has crunchy little dog chews. Then there's the shapes. She has tripe sticks deep fried. She has biscuits and she has two or three or four. And not to mention a super-sized breakfast and dinner. Oh, my God. Oh, look, there is Mom. one. Mum! This is why he's getting fussy at home, you know, because of that. That's what grandmas are for. They're both each other's companion, they're best friends, which I think is really lovely, but, you know, I've got a best friend, I don't stick a Mars bar in her mouth every time I see her. Naughty, naughty. I hope you're not um, feeding that dog scraps. Mm. Don't forget, we're waiting for some of it, so don't give it all to the dogs. <laughs> Jen does love Jess. I mean, if I had that sort of love from Jen, I'd be very, very happy. Jess gets to sample the best of Jennifer's culinary skills. She likes cheese. Birthday cake. She does like a little bit of chocolate, but not Belgian chocolate. Roast dinners are a classic. She loves grapes. This is Jess. Whoa, Jess. Oh, oh, look at that belly. What's mummy been feeding you? The average um, weight for this breed of between nine and ten. Okay. And see what she weighs. Nine. Nineteen. Just over nineteen. This is crunch time now. We are going to sort this problem out. But Victoria's got an innovative exercise idea that should burn those calories off. Hydrotherapy is a great way for a dog to get in shape. The water supports the body weight, making the joints and muscles less prone to strain and injury, whilst providing a total body workout. Twenty weeks ago, Jess weighed 19.9 kilos. What's the verdict, Mark? 15.7. Good girl. Well done, Jess. Brilliant. Look upon this food that I've laid out for you here, because this is the human equivalent of what Don't you feed that. Jess Ooh. every week. 21 Jaffa cakes, seven big chocolate bars, 14 chocolate wafers, 21 glasses of wine. Oh, no, Jess, I'm sorry. Oh, bless her. When I see a fat dog that can hardly move, that shocks me. Because obesity is a human problem, not a canine one. A standard dachshund should be being fed around 75 grams of dry kibble per meal. Rice is really good. Oats as well. Yogurt, low-fat yogurt, has good bacteria. Sometimes you can put a raw egg in as well. Binds the stomach very, very good. Because if your dog has to eat dry kibble every single day, then it is boring. Mm. And I think dogs appreciate a varied diet. But there are also other things you can give. Carrots, for example. Little bits of apple, bits of orange. These dogs are seriously overindulged. Their dinners cost a small fortune and have to be cooked, flavoured and cooled to perfection. They like steak, beef joints. Their favourite is chicken. Most definitely, they love the chicken. It's almost as if they're being treated like humans. Whilst Mark and Joe get on with the daily two-hour toil of making the dog's dinner, Victoria has a quiet word with Ben. They pay attention to the dogs because they cause more trouble. I just, I just stay in here and just keep really quiet. I'm effectively invisible, you know. They've been um, treated more like humans, it seems. I mean, not many dinners, like, put on standstill till the dog's dinner's cooked. What do you get to eat? Sometimes it's just, it's just ready meals, you know, lasagna out of the packet. What food do they eat, then? Tonight they're having roast lamb, they're having carrots and broccoli, steamed, and some pasta. Are you feeding yourselves as well as you're feeding your dogs? No. No. How much would you say you're spending on your dog's food? That joint there was £17.50. Yeah. That's one meal. The time and effort invested in the dog's five-star supper means it's ready meals all round for the family. It is outrageous that you spend more time cooking for the dogs than you do for yourselves. So. I would like you to cook a meal for yourself first. Mm -hmm. But the dogs are going to eat dog food. For the first time in years, the family sit down for dinner before the dogs. Does this feel good? Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mark and Joe are convinced Toady and Smarty will turn their noses up at dog food. But the secret is getting some human food in as well and mixing it all around. OK. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description.
see you online.